Welcome to Nareshai Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In the last videos, we did talk about the difference between local variable as well as class level variable and uh, syntax as well as uh, the main difference between class level variable like uh, class level variables having the default values whereas local variables does not have. So, before using the local variables, we should be initialized. And especially in this video, I am going to be highlighting what type of modifiers can be applied on top of local variables. Modifiers on local variables. Variables, yes. Now, let me explain this concept through programmatically to easy to understand. Now, to developing the program, let me take notepad, yes, now I am taking one uh, class like public class modifiers on local variable MLV, I am taking my class name. Now, here to developing the or to executing the any program we required main method that is public static uh, void main. Now, first I am initialize, I am taking one variab variable like uh, a as well as I am taking one more variable like a private uh, private int b and as well as protected int c as well as public int d as well as transient int e and next one is static static int f volatile int g and one more thing is final final int a1. So, like this I am taking only here 8 variables a a1 b c d e f g. So, like this I am taking variables. So, let me save this one. I am saving this file on top of uh, desktop mlv dot java and uh, save as type is what here all files. So, this is our dot java file ok. Now, I am going to be executing this program first I need to compile. So, where exactly my dot java file is existed within the desktop. So, I need to navigating from admin folder to desktop folder yes after that I need to compile my program java c m l v dot java yes in the comp uh, let me write like here I am using java but is exactly what is the binary file name java c java c m l a m l v dot java yes see observe guys only I am getting how many errors 6 errors under the private under the protected under the public under the transient as well as under the static under the what volatile. So, what is the meaning of this one very simple here we cannot apply we cannot apply all these 6 modifiers on top of local variables on top of local variables. What is the reason behind this one? What is the reason behind this why cannot we write all these modifiers on top of the local variables. Especially in this video I am only concentrate on these 3 modifiers the in coming video I am going to be highlighting what is transient and um, one more point also I am discussed in this video that is what static concept also I am introduced here itself. So, remaining transient and volatile we will see separately. Now, observe here, observe here, why cannot we write private variable on top of the local. So, very simple guys, what is the main intention of the private? The data if you are declaring as a private, that data can be accessible throughout the class, throughout the class or simply within the class. For example, if I am writing one method like void m1. So, what is the main intention of the private? The variable must and should be available within the class throughout the all the blocks and as well as all the methods. 
So, if I am trying to use system dot out dot print ln of system dot out dot print ln of b system dot for example, if I am declaring or initializing the value like triple three, if I am printing like b, if I am printing like b, definitely we will get what here error itself. Why? The reason is very simple, guys. B is what local variable. The scope of the local variable is what the scope of the local variable is only within that method. But what is the main intention of the private? It can be accessible throughout all the methods. But if you are declaring variable as in a private, variable as in a private, first we are getting compulsory error. That is not a problem. Assume that is what valid statement. Private into B equal to triple three is a valid statement. If it is a valid statement, what happen? Here B is what local to the main method. So local local means what the scope of the B is after a declaration we can use anywhere in the method itself same method but it cannot be access. So private functionality is one thing local variable functionality is what here another thing. Private means access throughout the class but if you are coming to the local only within the method so both are having what different behavior that's why we cannot write a variable as in what private now basically this is a string error yes yeah for compilation pur problem or purpose we don't require any main method with string array just uh, method is enough now one more thing is what about the protected and uh, what about the public same thing guys here protected means what throughout the package and if any class other the other than the our package those classes also can be accessible what here protected data within the package we can access and other packages also can be access what here protected data but if you are writing protected as a local variable so we again comes to the local the functionality of the local variable is only within the method but what is the uh, functionality of the product we can access throughout the packages so simply we can access we cannot access even within the class other than the main method how can we access this uh, int c protected int c throughout the package it is not possible as well as public so the main intention of private protected public can be accessible anywhere anywhere means what private we can access uh, we can access within the any method throughout the class throughout the class but if you are mentioned private as in a local only fixed with the main method and protected it can be accessed anywhere in the package other th other than uh, packages like uh, other package classes also can access but we required what uh, inheritance is a relation mandatory but if you are mentioned protected as in local again we headache will be stored the reason is local only accessible what within the method if you declare in public everywhere everywhere we can access everywhere we can access but if you declare public as a local the functionality of the public will be changes if you writing private protected public in the local the entire functionality of this modifier is going to be changes that's why we cannot write a, a private and protected public modifier variables within the method itself as well as static static here static so before static it is what a default variable so default val variable can be accessed where anywhere but if you are mention f as and static means what is the main intention of the static common for all the objects but here if you are writing a static within the method it will not access by the different different objects so here also static functionality will be changes simply we can say private protected public static we cannot be right in the local the reason is the intention of this modifier is different local modifier intention is different we cannot be combining these two together and uh, remaining things separately we need to learn transient and volatile in the coming videos with the new programming concept now one more point i want to add it the same data i'm going to be taking at class level same data I am taking at class level. Now let me comment this line. There is something uh, wrong is there. Now let me comment all these things. Yes. Now observe guys everybody. 
now let me compile this program if you compiling yes java c mlv dot java now observe guys in this particular scenario okay this is for explanation i am writing this point no need delete this one java c mlv dot java good successfully compile now compared to the previous uh, program and this program everything is same only one thing is different all these variables i am writing within the method the same variables i am writing within the class level that means all these modifiers we can uh, represent uh, at a class level variables but we cannot be represent these uh, modifiers with what here local variables and one more important point if i am uncommented this one what happen if you are uncommented uh, final variable final int a1 definitely we are facing one more definitely we are facing one more compiled um, error observe here variable a1 not initialized in the default constructor some error message is coming what is the meaning of that one see by defaultly class level variables in the last video i told you like by defaultly class level variables having some default values assume for a1 jvn is providing one default value like what zero now what type of variable it is right now it is a final what is the meaning of the final we cannot change the value in entire project so assume if the statement is entirely valid jvn will giving the one value like zero and entire project even value must and should be what here zero itself what can we do with the zero in entire project not good that's why if you are using if you are using final variables at class level we must and should be initialized we must and should be initialized now observe here the error will be gone now again you guys having the doubt sir if you are declaring final variables as a local without initialize also there is no error yes there is no error the reason is a local variable doesn't having any default value programmer must and should be at least initialized one time programmer must and should be at least initialized one time so before using already i told you one note point before using the local variable we need to initialize it so whenever we initialize it once like a uh, uh, triple four to the a1 then a1 value is going to be fixed understand or not see these are the these are the small programming concept on local variables again so in this uh, this video most of the cases highlighting what type of modifiers uh, can't we apply on top of the local variables so in this especially in this video i discussed all the points but except two things one is the tangent and the one is what volatile those things we will see in coming videos i hope you enjoyed this video for more videos please subscribe narayshetty channel thank you